last week we showed you our circle puzzle that we did not get a chance to finish last week and how you can spin these circles to try and get them to be lined up and the grains should glow when they get lined up. Hello and welcome back to our R&D project. Now today we finished the new puzzle so when these circles are lined up they will in fact glow once they get lined up not too soon or too late uh, so what we did is we used to be checking the Z values of the circles but that didn't seem to be working so we gave the circles hitboxes which when they rotate the hitboxes will rotate with them and so if we click on this circle and we back up because for some reason it doesn't want to show you can see this uh, red looking circle here and um, when we click on this one we can zoom in on this little green hitbox and if we have them both at the same time we scroll out um, it's hard to see but there is a little zone there where they're overlapping and when they're overlapping it says yes they're overlapping and the circle has been solved and then it starts glowing so let me demonstrate this really quick if we rotate the circle to the point where it is solved it will glow and then we can solve this other circle and as soon as we solve it we can go back to playing the running section of our game uh, so anyways uh, we have some obviously new code for the uh, for the hitboxes. So, um, as you know, our pieces have their assigned numbers, and piece three and four are the two outer rings of the of the circles. So basically, only those ones are checking it, this if statement, and it is checking to see since piece three is circle one, it is checking to see if circle one is solved is false. And then it will run this, the script, and then piece four will check to see if circle two is solved. And if it is false, then it will run the script. So we have this function right here with our uh, collider 2D, which is the um, which is the circle, the circle hitbox, the littler ones, is a circle collider. And um, basically, oh wait, no, this one is the this one is the red one that the bigger circles have, and is basically telling it that it is in it is in the position of uh, the rotation position, and then the rotation range, and then this is just saying what is circle. So basically, it's like defining what a, what the what it's looking for. So it's a layer mask. And that is like, um, that's like there's different layers in Unity. If I click on this, we can see this has the puzzle layer up here. And so if we go to here, it is saying what is circle, and we set it to the puzzle layer. So it only checks for hitboxes on the puzzle layer. So that's how the little red thing works. And the reason we can see the red hitboxes because we have this function here called on draw gizmo selected which basically it will uh, draw the draw the hitbox in a sense and it just basically here I'm setting the color to red which is just a simple thing it's so we can dif differentiate it from the green hitbox and then we have it set to the rotation position, which is the same as the rotation position up here, and the rotation range, which is the same as the rotation range up here. So anyways, uh, it checks to see if this is greater than zero, and if it is, it has a small timer so that you can't just be rotating it around and instantly getting it once it's at the right point it has a timer to say okay it's been set at this point for a certain for a good amount of time they probably have it solved and then once that timer is out it will set the 
circles one solved or circle two solved, solved depending on which one and it will set the glow to be true next week we are hoping to add another puzzle to our game or at least begin working on the next puzzle that players will be able to solve in our game and that about wraps up this R&D project update thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time